On a training dive in 2000, Sotwana, South Africa, I was at a depth of 105 meters and I saw three silicans. However, nobody believed me. Yes, well that's the last time I go diving without a camera to that depth because anything can happen. Um, you know, just like I think uh, Dr. Phil Yimstra said, it's like seeing dinosaurs in the Karoo, you know, but not being able to film them. You know, we stumbled upon those three silicons and, you know, that was... Well, you said they were silicons. Yes. <laughs> Nobody believed the world me. didn't. Yes. And we were looking at these three fishes and I thought, well, big deal. Um, you know, there's uh, probably potato bass. Big Fenton made sure that he made a big noise about it. And he was shouting at me, it's silicane, silicane, silicane. And I thought, you know, I saw the fish, but I wasn't convinced that they were silicane. Despite the skeptics, we were back a month later armed with a camera. During the first deep dive, I swam ahead and searched the cliff faces for the eyes of the silicates. I found them close to the end of our dive time and frantically signaled to Chris and Dennis to come and film the silicates. We filmed three silicates on that dive and finally we had our proof that the silicates were a viable population in Sodwana. During the ascent of that dive, Dennis Harding ran into problems and tragically lost his life. During further training, the team also lost Anna Smith due to a heart condition. A few months later, the team was back to try and obtain high quality video footage. This time the team included Nuna Gomez. Nuna Gomez was the world record holder for the deepest cave dive in the world. The team conducted a number of build-up dives to refine the dive plan. What we've done, first we selected the divers very carefully. The next thing is we standardized all the equipment. Everybody's got exactly the same equipment and everybody dives under the same decompression schedules and the same uh, routine. And we've added extra safety to the decompression schedules and we've also got uh, medical rescue on the team.
happiness. Okay, four. Good. Okay, one, two, three, go. The footage that we shot today was taken on the, uh, the shore side of the right canyon here. Um, it's quite an interesting spot there, the topography is... Uh, <laughs> but, uh, so, then, then you say for like one minute. <laughs> This red line going down is the descent. It represents the diver going down. And it takes approximately five minutes to get to the bottom. Okay, we use Trimix to dive at the bottom for uh, 15 minutes. And that's uh, composed of helium, nitrogen, and oxygen. Then we ascend with that gas up to 45, and then we change to compress there and then we do the decompression stops on compress there until five meters at which stage we change over to pure oxygen and decompress on pure oxygen for about 40 minutes the total dive is about 151 minutes we're going to dive off jessa canyon to 100 meters and uh, i think this is our real first shot at finding the silicon uh, we're going to do a 15 minute bottom time and uh, well, we hope we find them. <laughs> so this is the day you might see your first silicon. Exactly, yeah. And how are you feeling about that? Oh, I'm pretty excited. I hope we will, we will see it. And uh, it will be nice if we can film it. And the, if we find it early in the dive, then we'll have plenty of time to film it. Yeah. Well, that's the main idea. Now you've been in charge of the whole safety procedure over the last 10 days. So do you feel that the divers are now ready for the, the deep dives? Oh, definitely, yeah. I think we went over it very slowly. Many other people would have tried to dive much sooner. And we've got the right conditions, everybody's happy with the equipment, the safety divers are clued up on the procedures. Everything is right. If we don't find it today, we'll have to try again tomorrow. <laughs> That's it. Thanks, man. Well, more or less the same than I felt. Um, you know, uh, in November, so it's, you know, that rather anxious. I'd like to get, you know, to find them and to, you know, to make sure that this is a success. It's a big day, huh? Let's hope so. Yeah. Okay, what is your dive plan today? Where are you going? Um, we're going to an area close to the Jessa Canyon there. Um, we're planning to dive about 100 meters. The topography is quite interesting in that specific area mm. at 100 meters. Now this is the area that the silicon had seen last year. Um, what is your feeling about seeing them again? I mean, this will be your, your first well, real time. Um, if we bump into them, we'll be lucky. I, I don't know. You're not <laughs> excited? I mean, this is a big day, huh? Yeah, um, I don't know if they'll still be there. Yeah. Um, we're going to be diving closely. Maybe we can bump into a different group or something. That'll really mean something. Yeah. Okay. But we'll have to wait and see. That's it. That's all Finally the team was ready and started searching for the silicon for the depths between 100 and 120 meters. I think they will find them again if they're going back to the same spot. Uh, of course we hope they will find them again, um, but some different individuals which will indicate that there are more than just the three.
the conditions were perfect but the team had no luck. Let's take note of this as well. Span over there. Yeah. Peter Tim dropped the divers okay. off in exactly the same spot where the silicones were formed a few months earlier. Check that one there. Check that one. That's it. That's it. Those two there. Those two there. Those two and these two. Exactly. Exactly. No doubt. Luna was visited by a curious oceanic white tip during one of his dives while the rest of the crew enjoyed the show from the top. I scanned the underwater caves at about 110 meters without finding any silicates and the team was getting a little bit worried. The diving continued. I'll let Peter read it. And today was supposed to be a lucky day. Yeah. Only a big shark. <laughs> Luckily for the divers, the next day was also perfect conditions. Scanned around and finally I saw one. Says, uh, please find Robert Stubbs. We filmed that old Willy one. Hey. 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 Hey.
The next day, Nuna and Gilbert also filmed the Silla Cave. On my last half, we filmed the third silicant, which was enormous, more than two meters long. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please have a look at the description for full details of the expedition, dive team members and the procedures we followed.